Now, the first thing you have to do is to clear your calculator. The essence of doing it is to put your calculator in default mode because you may not recall, remember whether you have put your calculator in a different mode or you have stored a number in it before. So, to be at the safe side and not to have unnecessary error with the present calculation you want to do, we advise to clear. So, to clear, simply press for, for those of you that don't know how to do it, simply press shift, then for this shift button 9, put an instruction, you want to initialize all, press 3, then you have to press equal to, press equal to, then press equal to again, and it will clear. So it's now in default mode. So having cleared the calculator, let's store a number. Now the idea behind solving partial fraction in the calculator is to use a stored number to simplify the equation and also to use that stored number to simplify the options as well. So right now we are going to store to this no in this calculator. Now you can choose any number you want to store, but I recommend two for people I teach because personally I practice with two and I have not found any error with this. So I recommend two for you guys. So we'll be working with two. So we are going to store two in this calculator now to store a number that's two. You press the number first, then press this button. STO stands for store. You press it. Then you want to store it as X. Look at X. I press this button. It indicates here that two has been stored as what X in this calculator. Okay, guys. So having done this, okay, so question three says given that 3x minus 5 all over what we have here, x plus 1 in bracket and also x plus 2 in bracket equals a over this plus b over this. Determine the value of a and b. So guys, this is very, very simple. What this thing is trying to let us know or trying to make us understand is that we should simplify this. When you simplify it, we should check the value of a and b that when you use them to substitute a and B in these options, it will give you the same value you will get after simplify. So let us practice it that you understand it better. So let's simplify the equation given that we have 3x alpha x okay minus 5 come down in bracket we have x alpha x plus 1 okay and that work we have alpha x plus 2. All right, put it back here. Let's press the corner. we're going to have 1 over 12, guys. 1 over 12. So we are going to substitute each of the options here for A and B to see the one that will give us 1 over 12. So, guys, very simple. Let's begin with option A. So let's simplify this now. So Option A. Now, when our A is minus 8, our B will be 15. Very, very simple, guys. So let's check if we give 1 over 12. When A is minus 8, so we have fraction. We have alpha x plus 1. Close the bracket. Okay. Go here and put plus. Under fraction, there B. Is when, when b is 15 okay in bracket we have alpha x plus 2 so let's see if it will give us 1 over 12 no so let's take option b when a is minus 6 and b is minus 11 so let's quickly do the adjustments here when b is was minus 11 and when our a is minus what six, let's press the corner as well to give us no. So, guys, let's take option C. It has to be option C. It has to be option C. Okay, so this, this one, there's no minus there, is a positive value. So, let's check for six, remove six and put eight, guys. It's as simple as that. All right, so let's press the quote to now and see if it will give us one over 12. One over 12, exactly. So, guys, our answer is what option C is as simple as that. So, these are the tricks, the hacks 
are used to solve problems involving partial fraction with the Casio calculator, this black one, Casio FS, another one, ES calculator, the class WIS, or the Casio FS570 ES class with calculator. So, there's something interesting for this video. If you are new to the channel, show you the subscribe button for more videos like this. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Tell me how you feel from what I learned from this class. If you seem to have any specific questions, ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to give you a response. Thanks for watching. I will see you in my subsequent video.